let them kill, skim and sail, until the buffalo is exterminated, as it is the only way to bring lasting peace and allow civilization to advance. Unofficially, in the run-up to the Red River War, General Philip Sheridan expressed the conviction held by many in the military and the U.S. government. Decimating the American buffalo or bison population would force American Indians onto the reservation, clearing the plains for white settlers eager to take their place. For hundreds of years, the Southern Plains tribes depended on the buffalo, on its hide for clothing, blankets, and homes, its meat for food, its dried manure for heating fuel. The U.S. Army hoped that without their staff of life, American Indians would surely give up their way of life and, with any luck, become Christian farmers. Before the tribes realized the full consequences of the hunters' actions, the buffalo had become a commodity. While the dark beasts blanketed the plains in the tens of millions, the demand for buffalo products rose sky high. Hunters poured onto the plains to exploit this seemingly limitless resource. Some men perched on the roofs of slow-moving trains and killed for sport. Most came in wagons carrying large caliber Sharps rifles and killed for money. By the end of the 1870s, the buffalo would be all but extinct. <laughs>